और कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे सोरे की गांड फड़गी गाइस टुडे वी गॉट न्यूज़ बाय जीट केस एक्स ट्रेलर टू स्क्रीनशॉट्स देयर इज अ लाइव स्ट्रीम दैट्स गोना बी हैपनिंग आई गॉट बंच ऑफ क्लिप्स दैट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू इन दिस वीडियो एज़ वेल एंड वी गॉट अ लॉट गोइंग ऑन वी गोना गेट बैक टू दिस क्लिप इन जस्ट अ सेकंड बट अपेरेंटली अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर बिलीविंग दैट वी आर गोना बी गेटिंग न्यू रिवील ऑन द मेन फोर गेम अ वी गॉट स्क्रीनशॉट सेक्शन दैट रॉकस्टार पुट अप ऑन देयर वेबसाइट लाइव स्ट्रीम इज हैपनिंग ऑन द 16 व्हिच आई विल श्योरली बी लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन द चैनल सो हिट द सब्सक्राइब बेल एंड Right as we get down to the story here and the video that I want to share with you guys, guys, take your right hand, take your left hand, send a prayer out because uh, hopefully Jason is not gonna be coming in this game with gluten free with nuts, okay? Uh, of course, like Lucia is gonna be like garlic bread here, but just hope that Jason is not gonna be like gluten free with nuts. Bruh. Like the video if you hope that he's not gonna be gluten free with nuts. Uh, dislike the video. If that's what you want. Okay, all right, let's get to the content now. In a few days, there's Q4 Take 2 investors call, and everyone is waiting for the parent yeah. company of Rockstar Games to announce something more about the game, like yeah. a more specific release date. Any I, I will surely live stream for you guys I got you, right? Info on the PC version and stuff like that. But that's not all, because it looks like PC version forget about it dog like we're going to be 80 years old we're going to be lucky if we get GTA 6 before 2026 damn it like we might get official screenshots from GTA 6 even before this call simply put rockstar is forced to post some update about the next GTA before the call because one way or another we're going to hear new things from Take 2 yeah. and yeah, it would yeah, be yeah, better yeah. to present it in the form of some readable newswire post with some in-game screenshots rather than making Man. Can a brother perhaps get like GTA 6 trailer too? Is that too hard? Can a brother just get like gameplay reveal? Bruh. Can a brother get GTA online reveal? Can a brother just get the game launching out right? Now? <laughs> like the video if you agree, man. Dislike if you disagree. Though. Can us wait for game info from the investors call. The first wave of excitement has already started because the GTA yeah. 6 community found evidence that screenshots are coming, meaning a new yeah. reveal is on the horizon. Rockstar Games have seemingly added numerous mentions of the upcoming game to their API. These include mentions of screenshots and even the cover art. But don't get your I think I think it's safe to say we're going to get some screenshots, but are we really going to get it? like on May the 16 when they're going to do their live stream are we going to get it before that's the thing right i i think it's safe to say we're not going to be getting a, another gta online <laughs> gta online update screenshots i don't think we're going to get it maybe they're going to show us uh, jason hopefully he's not going to be stunning and brave cuz uh, yeah man if he's stunning and brave then man that's definitely going to start ww5 in the community but a lot of people are believing that two days prior it's going to be May the 14th yay and rockstar apparently love tuesdays though that's rockstar's favorite day Bruh. website changes with placeholders for four screenshots were recently made as well and there is another clip coming up wait for that hopes up because the fact that they added GTA 6 to their GraphQL API might also mean absolutely nothing every yeah. game in the response i think we're going to get screenshots and this is like a confirmation because rockstar did change their website and then ultimately removed it maybe they're really going to drop it now or maybe later and with rockstar later can be even 3 months from now a year from now <laughs> yeah with, with rockstar you never know like define later could be 10 years from now mentions from four what, screenshots what, in the exact same format for some reason that after a few hours they removed all the changes or as one of the redditors suggested they changed the URL redirection to the standard page and Rockstar didn't want us to see the mentions of screenshots one of the yeah. users CJ even made a concept of how it would look like and honestly it looks pretty cool and like something Rockstar could actually post and legacy killer HD said I personally don't think we're seeing anything new related to GTA 6 until the end of summer or beginning Man. of fall but I'd love to be wrong Man. and I also hope he's wrong the upcoming investors call and strange changes on the Rockstar website can't just be a coincidence. I yeah. truly believe yeah, 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 yeah. that. However, I wonder if just the screenshots Wait will really it. be enough to sustain the hype for the game in today's times. Man, honestly, bro, like with GTA 6, that's the thing, right? Like Sekiz are Sekiz even if they drop screenshots, Sekiz going to be like doing helicopters with their release absolutely because we're talking about Rockstar games here. <laughs> These Sekiz <laughs> go to a decade without dropping any games. I mean, technically not necessarily a decade. I can say like decade for just GTA 6 GTA 6 uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out in 2018 so all 6 years ago by the time this game comes out we're easily going to be like what 7 maybe even 8 years if they were to delay GTA 6 right still crazy but in terms of the last GTA game that came out all the way back in in what like 2013 September of 2013 so holy crap like we're uh, 11 years in 
almost 11 years in and by the time this game comes out it's gonna be 12 years so these suckers take so long before dropping a game and yeah their games are actually good don't get me wrong but it's like can a brother perhaps like get a new gta game every five six years six years you think five six years that's like a good uh good enough time for a game like gta year or nay and in, uh, of course in this day and age if we just get like screenshots of course that's not gonna be but for a game like gta i think suck is gonna be high for sure though anything is better but i feel like that if we just get screenshots now then i i don't think we're gonna get gta 6 early 2025 like some people are thinking i think it's safe to say that we're gonna be getting gta 6 by the end of 2025 uh, realistic realistically realistically best case scenario it comes out like before may of 2025 uh maybe even like Mar by march 2025 which would be considered early early 2025 realistically by the end of 2025 and uh in like a copium stage it comes out uh, in 2026 in 2026 oh, yeah when do you guys see it coming out would you be satisfied if rockstar only dropped two or three screenshots from the game nope. or would you rather have a surprise oh, second no. trailer drop before the investors call let me know oh, in the comments yeah. down below and if you need more oh, proof yeah. that something big might go down in a few days get Wait this rockstar cleared their instagram account again leaving only 14 posts up right before take two's conference call on may 16th they scrubbed several thousands of posts just a few days ago. And now, all we've got are these 14 posts related to the first trailer and Crazy. GTA Online DLCs. The last time Rockstar pulled a stunt like this was back in December, right before the first trailer reveal. That first trailer was supposed to drop on a Tuesday, December 5th, but some sneaky leak forced them to release it early on Monday. But hey, this time around, the 14th is a Tuesday. So maybe this isn't a coincidence, and the detective squad over at the GTA 6 community is right on the money. But that's not the only only thing they found. Uh -oh. They've potentially cracked the case on the actor playing Jason in GTA yeah. 6, and it looks like Dylan Rourke is our guy. This isn't Dang. just wild speculation, there's a stack of hard evidence that's got everyone talking. Okay, we really need to do a comparison between this one, okay? So let's actually get into it. Let's do a comparison. First up, the clues that got everyone on the trail is that Dylan doesn't just look like Okay, so yeah, this is uh, him right now. Let's actually do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick, okay? So you got gluten-free with nuts. Uh, I think it's not a perfect match, so that's good. That's a good thing. What you guys think? I, I, I still have hope. I still have hope. I hope that GTA 6 is not gonna be woke. I hope it's not gonna be... I hope they do not make Jason stunning and brave. I hope he doesn't get manhandled by Lucia, man. Like, because <laughs> Lucia is gonna be strong. You know she gonna be independent. She's gonna be strong, independent, strong, 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 strong. But hopefully Jason is not gonna become stunning and brave by... Jason, Rocker. he sounds like him too. Some sharp-eared fans on the GTA 6 Discord server posted a few reference videos of his voice. And let okay. me tell you, the resemblance is uncanny. Just check it out. Okay. Coach is right. We're up. Let's not get cocky. We're in this together. On the field, off the field. Protect the ball. What was that? All right, Slater. You gotta let the devil out. If they go deep, you lock them down. Fire station 129. This is Firefighter Trout. Uh, no, our, our ladder's out looking for him now. Oh, uh, yeah, the probie kid. Yeah, uh, he, uh, he didn't go with him. He, he went out to pick up a lunch order for the house. Not that I know of, no. Okay, so the actor doesn't feel like stunning and brave, so that's a W. I, I hope they do not change the character in the game, though. And then there's the professional scoop. Dylan mm. Rourke has professional mocap listed as one of his skills on his resume. Interestingly enough, he hasn't been linked to any major motion capture projects, so it looks kind of suspicious. Adding more fuel to the fire, his casting agency dropped a major hint by congratulating him on Instagram for landing a video game role back in June 2019. This timeline fits perfectly with when Jason and Lucy his roles were likely being cast for GTA 6. And let's talk looks. Dylan stands tall at 187 centimeters, mirroring Jason's stature seen in the leaks in the trailer, and they both have those piercing blue eyes. After a deep dive into his online presence, it turns out his demo reels and other materials on Vimeo mysteriously went private right after Legacy what? Killer mentioned him as the potential Jason in a video. Coincidence? Oh my god! Oh, Yo, the internet detectives are crazy. Not only that we're getting like a side-by-side -side match, Sick is finding his resume out, Sick is finding the, the, the posts out, Sick is finding out the fact that he is known for doing motion capture, which is for video games, right? And the fact that Legacy Killer HD came out recently and he was talking about it, and now apparently the actor has, uh, the actor has removed that? Crazy, crazy. 
I think not. And there's a bit of drama to spice things up. The rumored voice actress of Lucia followed Dylan on social media and then unfollowed him shortly after the first trailer dropped. Recall how during the development of RDR2, Rockstar had a tight leash on their actors, preventing yeah. them from following each other on social media to keep- That's crazy though, so brother cannot even follow, I mean sister couldn't even follow uh, Jason's actor though, that's crazy. I, I mean, you guys remember, right, like when we had uh, GTA 6 trailer, or right, when, right after we got the GTA 6 leaks, the gameplay leaks, we apparently ended up seeing like a fake uh, actor for GTA, uh, GTA 6 Jason that was coming out, uh, dropping photos on Instagram, taking pictures on like Miami Beach, right? Uh, and he tried to recreate the GTA 6 gameplay leak uh, where Jason would be on the beach, right? He recreated that and a lot of people thought that he was actually gonna be the, the actor. <laughs> Turned out he was Kevin though. Yeah, it was fake. It was fake. He, he wasn't. And now we're actually finding out that this could be Keep a lid on leaks. Given the backlash they received over their work environment, it's rumored that they've loosened up on such policies, though this okay. remains speculative. All these breadcrumbs lead us to believe that Dylan Rourke could very well be our Jason in GTA 6. And yeah. we also know the Lucia actress. Much like the discussion around Rourke, the dots connecting Maniel Perez to Lucia seem to align almost too neatly. First off, yeah, Manny's crazy, physical yeah. appearance and voice match Lucia's character almost perfectly. For those digging deep, her height, body shape, and age range sync up closely with Lucia's profile as described in game teasers. She's about 160 centimeters, and fans have noted her distinctive voice in several projects, which resonates with the character's tone heard in fleeting game snippets. Are you checking everything properly, Joey? Yes. Nope. Nope. Oh, shit. You're moving too fast. Ensure everything has been checked. Every door needs to be checked. Every corner needs a light shown into it. You dropped the ball this week. Yeah, she about to be stunning and brave in the game, bro. She's gonna be strong, independent. But I'm just hoping that she does not manhandle Jason, bro. Like, <laughs> imagine, imagine Jason turns out to be like... <laughs> Uh, her little pet in the game. Imagine they make Jason a simp in the game. Oh no! Oh my god! I can I can see like them turning Jason into a little simp. Though that of course that that doesn't mean that the game was gonna be woke or not. But but like uh, but I can see them at least making him a simp. If they do that, man, man, come on, Rockstar, don't make him a simp though. Like make him a real man, bro. There was one guy in a secured location. Do it right. Her acting credentials include a stint on an episode of Law & Order, where she shared the screen with Roger Clark, known for his role in another Rockstar blockbuster, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. It's intriguing oh, to shit. note that Rockstar seems to have a pattern of casting actors who have appeared on Law & Order, as seen yeah. with GTA 5's Stephen Ogg Stephen and Og. Ned Luke. Since 2019, Manny hasn't been linked to any major productions, primarily focusing on short films and podcasts, That's a timeline crazy, that yeah. intriguingly aligns with when Rockstar likely ramped up motion capture work for GTA 6. Given that mm -hmm. Rockstar extensive motion capture processes can take years as revealed by Ned Luke and, and apparently like he was uh, signed all the way back in 2021 that kind of makes sense but guys recently we had a ton more leaks that came out for GTA 6 trailer 2 there's some gameplay stuff going around as well check out this video on the screen and I will see you right there on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check it out and I'll see you right there